during this covid pandemic we came across several cases of infections related to black fungus yellow fungus aspergillosis to name a few which were to be frank quite uncommon to many of us before most of the general people were not even aware of such infections until recent days covid-19 infections seems to be a complicated and a long term infection when we have covid we just need to fight and survive it or that's what we believed but the critical part comes after the covid-19 infections the post covid period is quite important and we need to be extra careful because during that time you are open to various other infections sinus infection which is recently being observed among covid patients as well as post covid patients and is known as bone death or avascular necrosis even though the cases are few but it is definitely another worrisome problem on the rise so far three confirmed cases of bone death have been reported from mumbai who were previously being treated for covid-19 in this video we will try to provide you informations related to bone death disease symptoms associated with bone death how bone death is linked with covid-19 treatments and few other things so that we could understand about the disease and could detect it at an early stage before it grows into a severe condition what actually is bone death basically it is a disease which results in temporary or permanent loss of blood supply to the bones so when the blood supply to the bones is cut off the tissues in the bones dies and as a result the bone collapses the most commonly affected is the thigh bones however this condition is not concentrated on a particular bone but can also affect several other bones at the same time causes of bone death well there are quite a few causes due to which one may suffer from bone death the primary causes being injury or fracture damage to blood vessels prolonged use of medicines especially steroids use of alcohol and smoking specific chronic medical conditions cancer radiation treatment and sickle cell anemia thus learn the symptoms associated with the bone death basically symptoms may vary person to person however the most common symptoms being joint pain limited motion due to pain severe pain as bone and joint begin to collapse is bone death a life threatening disease it doesn't look like a life threatening condition however if not treated at an early stage then it may lead up to being bedridden for life or in urgent need of hip replacement what are the affected areas most of the affected areas are basically the joint areas like hips knees upper arm shoulders ankles and jaws the age group where the bone death disease is common 
is between 30 to 50 years of age. How is bone death related to COVID? Previously, bone death disease could be seen with only few cases. However, recently there has been a spike in the number of cases among the COVID recovered patients. Doctors and other medical practitioners are relating COVID with bone death due to the following reasons. COVID is known to clot blood in arteries and veins, which may also result in clot in the vessels supplying blood to the femur bone, thus resulting in bone death. Secondly, the use of steroids to treat COVID patients could be one of the main reasons of bone death among people. Diagnosis of bone death The diagnosis for bone death includes the following methods. X-ray CT scan or computed tomography MRI or magnetic resonance imaging Radionuclide bone scan Biopsy Functional evaluation of bone Treatments of bone death Depending upon your age, health and medical conditions the treatments may vary. The treatments include Medicines Normally used to control pain Adjustive device It is basically used to reduce weight on the bones or joint. Pore decompression It is a surgical process used to reduce pressure and increase blood flow and slow or stop damage to the joints. Osteotomy It is used to reshape the bone and reduce stress on the affected area. Joint replacement This procedure replaces the damaged joint with an artificial one. Bone graft Here Healthy bone is transplanted from another part of the body to the affected area. Apart from these above mentioned processes, there are other procedures as well, like electrical stimulation and other combination therapies for bone growth. With this, I conclude my today's video and do hope it helps in better understanding of the bone death disease. Do not panic as it is a treatable disease. However, look out for symptoms which I have mentioned in the concluded video. Consult your doctor and follow his advice. Thanks for watching. Do stay tuned to our channel for more informative and awareness videos and don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel